Welcome back, guys, to Mass Effect 3. After talking with Conrad Vernon at the end of last episode, we figured out that he has sabotaged many many jail facilities around the place we were repairing before we even saw him. So, it created some kind of weird chain quest between all quests that we've done in the past, and the results of that enabled us to get War Asset, which is brilliant. We're still checking out the Citadel as a whole. We, all, of course, saw Balak as well. And now we're heading back, and hopefully we've done enough many gel repairs at the moment. Is it done? Is it done, sir? I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. Life ends up more bizarre the more you experience, let's put it that way. Okay then. Even more people from the past have returned. And it seems that we got Conrad Werner a girlfriend. That's an interesting way for things to end up. Thank god that that gun didn't go off though. A lot of things I did in the past turn out to save my life in the future, who'd have thought it? Right, let's return these photo opportunities to our journalist man. And that should be everything for this area done for now. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Don't make it look ridiculous, though, while you're at it, sir. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Nice to know. Right then, so where off to next? Let's have a look at our points of interest here. We sorted out James. So Leo in the courtyard there is somewhere we didn't see before. Where is that? So Leo for courtyard, right in the middle, in fact. She's standing in the corner, didn't want to talk to us. We still haven't checked out Purgatory so far. Apart from that, it just seems like Purgatory and Celia, whoever she is. Let's quickly check out Celia and then head over to Purgatory. It's really weird. Blast of the past, but it makes me feel a lot better about the, in the, the insane amount of Mako walking around, driving around I did to get those Dinanaga writings and all that. It makes me feel a lot better about doing all those side quests, that's for sure. And the fact that Conrad Vern has come good in the end after making an yet another stupid move. God, he makes always stupid moves. Ah, Celia, this must be her in the corner here. But while she's scanning any everything, this is exactly where it is, yet. Yeah? Unless it's up a level. Is it you? Is it you? Right on number four, so this must be Celia. Must be something involving her, maybe in the future? Or it's on the other side. Let's have a quick run around, then straight over to Purgatory. I feel very, very sorry about the Blue Rose of Ilium. That's for sure, not Astra Sporting Goods. So no, it can't be on this side at all, can it? I see no one waiting there. Ah, Celia! 
I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. No problem, sir. Yet another quest in hand in done. So at least we know that all the remaining quests are ones we still have to do. Right then, let's head to Purgatory. We'll find out what's going on next. Joker's over there, maybe with Edie. Maybe their relationship is, well, moving forward. Maybe it isn't. We'll find out. Amazed we haven't seen Miranda on here again. I thought she'd want to touch base. Bit worried about her with what's going on with her sister and her father and all that. And probably the elusive man might be a bit behind it as well. On to get a little bit of payback, a little bit of revenge. Now arriving at Lord Lover, right then. We got ourselves another quest. I can't even hear what they're saying. Well, we'll move away from him. I can barely hear his voice at all, so I assume it's not really being picked up very well, but in this bar, it's very hard to listen to things in the first place. I try to allow you guys to listen to the people's conversation around the place, but unless it's a direct conversation, their, their voice levels are very low, of course. Code of the Ancients. An Elko on the Citadel needs the Code of the Ancients to inspire people. Recover the Holy Book from Takuna and return to a Purgatory. So we have a fair few that actually have locations to go to, but at least five where we're going to have to, like, find the parts around the place. Always a problem, that. Well, these people have gone now. That guy's still drunk, however. What about you, madame? Oh, every soldier's gone now. Put to work, I imagine. No, the problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library at Asha had sacred texts on the ways of the hunters. The defining works on the art of battle. But the Nimbus cluster has already fallen, and our people are here dancing instead of fighting. Well, you know, dancing needs to be done, I guess, but another quest, yet another one! Nimbus Cluster, Library of Asher. An Asari military trainer needs text from Library of Asher to recover the text from Nimbus Cluster. Live it to Purgatory, we will do. Aria, anything going on since we reclaimed Omega? It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? I don't know. Anything else going on? Ah, oh, we'll just leave it. We'll talk later. I'm sure. But Arya's back here and she has a reason to be. Where's Joker then? No one has a conversation to have? Joker, Joker, Joker! Only one Turian sitting here anymore. The banner of the first regiment. That should put some steel in their spine. The rest of your soldiers went away, sir. Joker! Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Uh, what about you and me? Okay, sure. Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over-the-clothes action? That's always a risk, but then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. Please don't go dancing, Joker. It's not good for you. 
Your arms will just snap off. It'll be horrific. I don't want to see that. No, Joker, don't dance. It's bad for Miranda. No, Jack. God, you look kind of white and black color scheme made me trip up. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wave. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. And does indeed know that and honest to god we just ended up here and things are going on here smuggler pirate true smugglers Might as well. what you got? tell me what the work is you guys I'll help out it's cool I'll do it for you I'll have a nice drink as well even though it won't let me do it Then we'll turn around for a little bit even more of a horrific sight. Even though you can't really see it that much in the darkness, Joker's putting on the moves. Look at him waving those arms. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. <laughs> as long as someone doesn't bump into you, Edie. Anything to say about this? Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Edie's just jigging back and forth. E to do the robot or something. Come on, do something stereotypical. It'd be amazing. I don't want to use the dance floor. Shepard's dancing's horrific. And she still hasn't broken anything? Haven't broken anything yet. Good news. Right, it seems that we've checked out the entire citadel at the moment. So does that mean it's time for us once again to get back out there and find where all these side quests take us to? Are there any combat ones in there? Are there just fine stuff things? We don't know until we go. Let's check the map a second, see if anything's flagged itself here. Edie is now located on the map. But unfortunately it does not want to speak to us. The R is over there, James as well. Doesn't seem that anything important's going on. So we'll head out for now. Back to the Normandy at last. We're about a billion more side quests to do. More war assets to get, always good. Caden, hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I went on one down and it's got me... I don't know. Okay, talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you. And I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is we stop the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity. And it matters. You're talking about Udina. 
He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same. Including you. <sighs> okay. Look, Shepard, there's, uh... There's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but... I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. So, on um, one thing, we can get ourselves a new squad mate. On another thing, we can get rid of someone who always consistently doubts us no matter what. Hopefully, though, he'll be a bit, a bit more over that. So, we'll invite him along for any hilarity that may ensue. I'm sure that Javik would love to bash him about a bit or something along those lines. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, ma'am. And one thing about that situation is two Spectres are always better than one, surely? He's one of the more powerful biotics around, he's a Spectre. Second Human Spectre, all the Human Spectres collected on one ship. Can't be bad to add a little bit more manpower. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyle. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But it should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson. It's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari Counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships, and the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Gaining ourselves even more missions all the time here. Priority Perseus Vale. We've got two priority missions, Masana to Stress Signal. Cerberus crew codex updated. Lesser codex updated, right. I want to know about this other mission, this Asari mission, distress signal. 
Right then. Asari High Command has requested help dealing with a distressing on Asari Colony. Go to the colony and investigate the situation. Now, the problem is we've got a billion side quests now and no knowledge of... Well, if we engage in a mission, will we miss missions? Will we miss situations? Are there timed missions in here? We don't know. Grissom Academy, for example, was a timed mission. If we didn't go there fast enough, we may not have seen Jack again, that's for sure. So here comes the question, what to do? He did kind of get what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? What's up this time, trainer? Commander, I've found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. Right. This was an isolated, high-level cell. It's unlikely they knew what Cerberus was really doing. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? There's no way to be certain. But I've got a definite possibility. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. No, no problem. You, you helped me out by doing that. Hooray, ex Cerberus scientist journal updated. Even more to do. What else have we got here? Private terminal? We've probably got new mail. In fact, loads of new mail. All right. Citadel interview. Your cabin from Diana Allers. A network to go wall to wall with coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Udina's death. Can I get an hour or so with you to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than conference room. So we don't get interrupted. I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Well, meet me at the bar. The students are kicking ass and taking names that keep them on short rotations so they don't burn out. So we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time you hit the Citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if not blowing crap up in the field. Well, we already met you, Jack. And an alert. New article in Cerberus. Elysium, an evacuation shuttle, nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied colony of Elysium, was reportedly saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew higher numbers on on the colony's evacuation lottery. I was wondering what was going on with the drew higher numbers things. I mean, they were not eligible to aboard the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. The shuttle was saved when the biotic, identified by authorities as Arash Agdashlu, engaged Reaper forces that were prevent it from taking off. Akdashlu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragia as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed, providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. Good on that guy. Durlesh Mole? Cerberus had ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information, and the only other person who knew the cruiser's position was Volus Ambassador Din Korlak. I've heard ugly rumours of a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I can't bring these accusations against Korlak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volus economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for the political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleets is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korlak in your capacity as a spectre, and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus mole. I forwarded information on his last known location to the spectre of fish on the Citadel. Primate Victus, have we already done that one? James Vega wants to know if we've got a minute. Just want to chat, so down there. Kyling's dots here as well. Okay, Len Kai, Data Systems Alliance. He was part of the Alliance then. 16 credentials faked. Okay, anything patrol and reconnaissance? Reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers. Sentence reduced in light of previous exemplary service record. He got another medal at the raid of Antion. Accepted into Interplanetary Combatives Academy. Received N7 designation. So the same designation as me, and supposedly a l not many people get that. Dishonorably discharged and imprisoned after charge of first degree murder. Intel on Kai Leng's activities after joining Cerberus' Spotty. What is known as the Elusive Man arranged for Leng's escape from prison, employing him as an operative for the next 10 years. Leng is now believed to be the Elusive Man's most trusted agent, working as an infiltrator and assassin. His cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus' Phantom Class implant. Doesn't sound good. Right, he's at least as well trained as I am. If not more. 
It's never bad, never good, never bad, never good, never good. Right, let's head up for our interview first of all. If Diane Alice is here. We gained ourselves another quest there. Right, let's invite Alice up, I guess. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now, a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Farewell there, Diane Alice, but that did sound like a flirt more than anything. We got ourselves War Acid updated, and of course we had to go for the blooming Cerberus Ties thing. Why, 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 why? Ah, can you use the intercom for more? James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. James wants to talk too, yes, of course. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Shepard. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or... Did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal. But it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone, and they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. 
And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Shepard, you and your flirtatious self. We actually gained his loyalty by the look of it. Oh, got carnage unlocked, so a new ability as well. But that's it for today's episode. We talked a lot of, to a lot of people. We can change our armor, actually. I might change my armor in between episodes. And I'll see you guys around next time as we head out back across the galaxy. And I find out what quests we have to do first. Bye-bye.